gate opener installation. Welcome back to Door Pulse. In this video, I'll explain how to correctly wire the BFT Phobos ACA50 swing gate opener using this control board. This guide includes wiring for motors, limit switches, flashing lights, safety devices, photo cells, and more. Let's begin step by step. Power supply block. Three pin block. Line pin. Connect line or phase wire from main power supply. Neutral pin. Connect neutral wire from main power supply. Ground pin. Connect ground wire from main power supply. This single phase power supply with earth cable. The control board worked by 230 volt AC. Always make sure the power is isolated before wiring. Motor block. Pin 10, pin 11, and pin 12 is for motor 1. In opening two gates, the motor 1 is first to opening. Motor 1 is time lag during closing. The time in closing can be adjusted with trimmer T4. What is T4 trimmer? T4 is a time delay trimmer on the control board. It is used when you have two gates. It creates a delay between when motor 1 and motor 2. Connection of motor 1. Motor phase wire with capacitor connect to pin 10. Motor common wire without capacitor. Without capacitor, connect to pin 11. Mostly common wire is gray or blue. Motor phase wire with capacitor connect to pin 12. Pin 10 and pin 12 is open and close wire and pin. 11 is common wire if motor 1. Motor 2 connection. Pin 14, pin 15, and pin 16 is for motor 2. Motor 2 is time lag during opening with 2 seconds. Motor phase wire with capacitor connect to pin 14. Motor common wire without capacitor connect to pin 15. Mostly common wire is gray or blue. Motor phase wire with capacitor connect to pin 16. Pin 14 and pin 16 is open and close wire and pin. 15 is common wire of motor 2. Note. If trimmer T4 is zero, do not connect any cable to terminals 14, 15, and 16. Flashing light block. Pin 20 and pin 21. 230 volt and 150 watts power contact. Exit due to flashing light. Contact stays closed while leaves are operating. Antenna connection. Antenna connection in the control board. Use an antenna tuned to 433 MHz. Use RG58 coax cable to connect the antenna connection in the control board. Pin 28 and pin 29. Solenoid lock block. A solenoid lock is an electromechanical. Device that uses a solenoid, an electromagnet, to control a locking mechanism. When energized, the solenoid creates a magnetic field that either engages or disengages a bolt or striker. 
thus locking or unlocking a door or other access point. Solenoid locks are commonly used in access control systems for doors. Cabinets and other secure areas. Limit switched. This all block for motor 1 and motor 2 used for limit switched. A limit switches are electrical switches that act as sensors to detect the position of the door, signaling when the door has reached its fully open or closed position. Connection of photocell. Accessories power supply block. Safety devices block. This single pair of sensor, one transmitter, one is receiver. First connect 24 volt power supply on sensor RX and TX because the sensor work on 24 volt AC or DC power supply. Take power supply for sensors from control board. In main control board terminal 51 is connect by wire to TX and RX pin 1. Let I will connect same like this you please connect. Pin 51 is output power 24 volt AC. In main control board terminal 50 is connect by wire to TX and RX pin 2. Now we have connected a power supply of RX and TX. Connect photo safety. In main control board, pin 72 is connect by wire on pin 5 in RX, sensor. Pin 70, connect by wire on RX, sensor, pin 3. Pin 70 is common if this safety device is blocked. Commands block. Pin 61 with common 60. Start command button. It's NO contact. It's operation according to three or four step logic. Pin 62 with common 60. Open command button. It's work only one step that only open. It's NO contact. Gate opened with this command. If the input stays closed, the leaves stay open until the contact is opened. When the contact is open, the automated device closes following the TCA time, where activated. Pin 71. Stop block. The command stops movement. It's NC contact. If emergency stop button doesn't need. If not used, leave jumper inserted. Pin 70 and 74 also keep jumper. Adjustment procedure. Before turning the unit on, check electrical connections. Carry out an auto set to set work time. Set the trimmers. Set the dip switches. Warning. Incorrect Can result settings. in damage to property and injury to people and animals. Auto set for motors with no limit switches. Keep door halfway. First check door opening and closing. If the motor one first opening and motor two second opening. Then start step-by-step -step auto setting. One, place the leaves at the gate closure.
2. Press button S3 for 5 seconds. The set LED flashes. 3. Uh, press button S3 to start the opening maneuver of motor 1. 4. Press the S3 button to finish motor 1's opening maneuver. Apply pressure sensitive or electrosensitive. Protective devices, such as a safety edge, 5. Motor 2 starts opening automatically. 6. Press the S3 button to finish Motor 2's opening maneuver. 7. Press the S3 button to start Motor 2's closing maneuver. 8. Press the S3 button to finish Motor 2's closing maneuver. 9. Motor 1 starts closing automatically. 10. Press the S3 button to finish Motor 1's closing maneuver. 11. If the work time has been stored correctly, the set LED comes on for 10 seconds. If auto set fails, the set LED flashes quickly for 10 seconds. If motor 1 is set to active, the phases relative to motor 2 are not performed. Trimmers parameter. Any modification of parameters or logics must be confirmed by pressing S2 button for 5 seconds. T1. Automatic closing time. Waiting time before automatic closing. The automatic closing time is 0 to 120 seconds. TU. Leaf force by percentage. Force exerted by leaf or leaves. Warning. It affects impact force directly. Make sure that current safety requirements are met with the set value to comply with the current safety regulations. Install anti-crushing safety devices. The percentage is 1 to 100. T3. Slow down in time second. The time is 0 to 30 seconds. Sets the slowdown time performed at the end of each opening and closing operation. Zero means slowdown is disabled. T4. Motor 1 closing delay time. The time is in seconds. Zero to 25 seconds. Motor 1 closing delay time with respect to motor 2. Set T40 for single motor operation. Dip logic switches. Any modification of parameters or logics must be confirmed by pressing S2 button for 5 seconds.